American Family News on the Hour. I'm Chad Groening. A California judge has ruled in favor of a bakery owner who refused to make wedding cakes for a same-sex couple because it violated her Christian beliefs. The State Department of Fair Housing and Employment had sued Tastry's Bakery in Bakersfield, arguing owner Kathy Miller intentionally discriminated against the couple in violation of California civil rights law. Miller's attorneys argued her right to free speech and free expression of religion trumped the argument that she violated the law. Superior Court Judge Eric Bradshaw ruled Friday that Miller acted lawfully. The city of Bristol, Connecticut, laid to rest two of its heroes Friday. Officers Dustin DeMonte and Alex Hansey were ambushed and killed on October 12th. AFN Steve Jordahl reports there was so much support from the city that they had to hold the funeral in a football stadium. There weren't enough mourners and law enforcement representatives to fill the University of Connecticut's 40,000-seat football field, but the turnout was so strong, there was no other venue that could hold the crowd. Bristol Police Chief Brian Gould gave them the opportunity to show their admiration. At this time, it would be appropriate and fitting for the family to witness all of you here today acknowledge these officers' accomplishments with a standing ovation. Both the fallen officers were posthumously promoted, Hamsey to sergeant, DeMonte to lieutenant. Their pastor shared their eulogies, including a presentation of the gospel at the request of the families. He loved us so much that he wanted to provide a way for us to be reconciled with him. And that was Jesus' death on our behalf. Randy Sutton of the Wounded Blues says it's telling that so many showed up to support the fallen. The people are speaking. The people are saying that we respect law enforcement, that we want law enforcement, and yet you see the political left, the leadership from the president on down is doing exactly the opposite of what the American people want. But he says this could be an inflection point. It makes my heart feel good, even though this is a terribly tragic occasion, that maybe, maybe this moment will begin the turning of the tide. I'm Steve Jordahl. A conservative commentator is calling on Christians to get more involved in efforts to stop hospitals from doing dangerous procedures on gender-confused kids. AFN's Bob Kellogg reports. According to Lori Higgins of the Illinois Family Institute, Christians are waking up to the tragedy of an increasing number of medical hospitals buying into transgenderism. But Higgins says this has been going on for years without conservative pushback. You know, something's happened in the last 10 years that is a very, very good thing that, you know, with parents banding together and forming parent groups around the country. But why hasn't this happened before? She says occasional articles on this problem garner little attention, and she doesn't expect the mainstream press to take on these issues. But I am expecting conservatives to join together to start talking to other people about this, to urge, to form groups, to, you know, whether it's some kind of political active action group. She says there are steps churches and parents can take to begin to undo the damage that has been done by this barbaric practice. I'm Bob Kellogg. North and South Korea have exchanged warning shots along the disputed western sea boundary where they've engaged in past bloodshed and naval battles. No fighting was reported, but the developments raise worry of possible clashes after North Korea's recent barrage of weapons tests. North Korea has launched missiles and artillery barrages recently as South Korea holds annual military exercises joined by the U.S. And that is American Family News on the Hour. I'm Chad Groening. Blind. 
leper, he said, little children come to me. And above all names, he is wonderful. And above all names, he is great. And above all names, he's a conqueror. on the rock and my mind. 